How's it going guys? Buena Scanner back with another video after a long break. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to dive into a common question I get is about manually programming P25 systems or just programming P25 systems and avoiding that nothing to scan error. So I'm going to show you on this video how to manually program it using the scanner. That way you don't have to connect it to your computer and do it that way. You can do it um, just right from the scanner. And I, I like doing this uh, a lot better than hooking it up to the computer all the time unless I'm doing an update, um, you know, database update. So let's dive into it. You can see here I already have Chinese Peak um, set on here. This is for Pocatello, Idaho. So we're just going to do a demonstration on how to program this. And first off, we're going to dive over to radio reference. Um, that way I can show you some important information you need to write down or just look at while you're programming um, to get started. So let's head over to radio reference real quick. So I have radio reference open and I'm going to select Idaho. I'm going to be programming a P25 system in Idaho. And now on the map here of Idaho, we need to find our county. So in this case, I'm looking for Bannock. Uh, we'll click on Bannock. And we're inside of Bannock County now. And now what we want to do is select the trunk systems here. So we're going to select this. And now I want the Idaho Cooperative Agencies in this case. Um, this is what the police and fire department use. So now we're inside of this system. And what we want to do is take notes of a few things here. Uh, we're going to go find the TGIDs that we're going to need to program into the scanner. And so we're going to scroll down until we find Pocatello. So here we have Pocatello. And then I'm going to take note of this 3100. This is the TGID for the police dispatch. So we'll take note of that. And then I'm going to also program the 3200 TGID, which is the fire dispatch in Pocatello. Um, those are the only two I'm going to program in this video right now. Uh, so take notes of those. And now what we want to do is we're going to be programming Chinese Peak, which is in Bannock County, uh, Pocatello. And so we're going to just take note uh, of those, those TGIDs that we found on the other page. And now what we can do is inside of here, we can see the site frequencies. So we're going to need to take note of these. Um, just keep those noted. And then also these red channels, um, are the frequencies are the control channels. Uh, we're going to be programming all these in, uh, but those red ones that you see with the C next to them are the control channels. Okay, now that you have the information you need uh, from radio reference for this P25 system, what you're going to do is hit the menu button on the side, and then we're going to go to manage favorites, and then click enter, or you can click the top for enter as well. I like to use this button down here. Uh, so, and then what in your case, you're going to create a new favorites list, and then it's going to um, take you into the new favorites list. So in this case, I have this, uh, this favorites list set. Uh, when you first start, it'll say like favorites, uh, favorite zero or something like that. And you'll just scroll down, click rename, and you'll use the top scroll knob to go ahead and change uh, the name. So this takes a little bit of time, but you just use these over keys and then you can adjust each uh, letter. So this one, in this case, I called it Chinese Peak Pokey. Um, and what you're going to do is go after you name it, you're going to go to review edit system. And then you're going to click new system. It's going to be P25 trunk. You're going to click yes. And then you're going to edit the name. In this case, I already have one created. So I'm going to come back in here. You just click enter on it. If you accidentally create multiples, click delete, confirm. So now I'm going to come back into review edit system and I have Chinese P. I. Cowan set. I already edited the name. Um, now what you're going to want to do after that is come into edit system option. Um, and then ID search, this is important. I leave this off because the TGIDs of 3100 and 3200 that I showed you on radio reference, I only want this favorites list to scan those TGIDs. If you have this on, it's going to find every other TGID on the system. So you might hear, you know, I hear construction workers and all kinds of stuff. So in this case, I only want the fire department dispatch and police department dispatch. So I'm going to leave this off. And then we'll go come down to site 
you want to enter site. You'll click new site. In this case, I already have one pre-programmed, Chinese Peak. So when you create the new one, you'll just click edit name. You'll edit that name to whatever you want. In this case, I have Chinese Peak. After that, you want to come down to set frequencies. And then you'll just click new frequency. And then once you, once you have the frequency and you click yes after you um, enter it, you just type it on the keypad. Here's your period for the in-betweens. So 769 period 88 or 081250. And then you click yes and it'll bring you to this screen. And you just click new frequency and it'll have you enter another frequency again. So if I click this, you know, you can type in a new frequency whatever and then you'll keep doing that until you get all the frequencies in then you'll just back out and you'll see the list of all your frequencies here so make sure they're all in there back out one more time and then the attenuator i like to turn this off um the filter this one's important so filter wide invert works best for me i get the clearest reception on p25 using wide invert for digital so you know, just test this out. You can you can test this and change it, but wide invert is what I like to have mine set to uh, for P25. So we'll back back out. Um, P25 NAC option. You're going to leave this to search. Make sure that is set to search, and go ahead and back out until you see this page again. And you'll go down to Edit Department. You'll click enter, you'll create a new department. In this case, I have one Pocatello PD and fire department. So again, you'll edit the name and, and I've already done that. So you'll back back out after editing the name and then you'll go down to edit channel. You'll create a new channel. In this case, I have the two uh, 3100, the TGIDs, uh, 3100 for PD dispatch and 3200 for fire department dispatch. So you'll create a new channel inside of here you'll edit the name again just like we've been doing you'll click yes here uh, enter the new name back up and then all you need to do is go to edit tgid you can see i already have 3100 in there click enter back up and then go to your next one so this is fire department edit the name edit tgid i have 3200 in here and that's all we need to do this is all you need to do to get this set up then you can back all the way out or wait i forgot one thing something important here um what we want to do is edit channel so each one of these so pd here go back in here and we want to change the service type so make sure your service type is set in here so i have mine set to law dispatch and then for fire department service type set to fire dispatch okay that's important as well so now what we can do is we can back all the way out here and then set scan selection select lists to monitor in this case i have everything off except this new one that i just entered down here and then after that you'll go to select service types and you should only see the ones that you have in this favorites list. So law dispatch and fire dispatch, and they're both turned on. Sometimes people will have these turned off. And if these are turned off, you're gonna get uh, nothing to scan um, message on your, on your radio. So make sure this is set and these are turned on for select service type. And then you can just go ahead and back out and you're all set up. Let me know if you have any questions below. And make sure to check out my website or the links down below for some of the um, accessories I like for the SDS-100. Um, the Rimtronics antenna is really good for digital. Uh, if you listen to digital, if you listen to just FM frequencies or you know stuff like that, it, this, this antenna doesn't really work great for that. But this is perfect for digital. If you have any questions, again, let me know. Hopefully I wasn't too fast. I'm going to also leave detailed descriptions um, in the description of step-by-step for this specific system that I just set up. That way you can kind of cross-reference it with wherever you're at. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, anybody that needs help with the SDS-100. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.